Here's Mike Winters. The age-old debate. Good morning. It is uh, 22 minutes after 9 o'clock. And joining us in the studio this morning from the uh, CAPS program, the Kids Arts program, which is part of the Roswell Community Little Theater, uh, we have Angela Strange with us. And then with the Historical Society for Southeast New Mexico, Amy McVeigh Tay is back as well. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing today? Doing all right. All right. You excited? Beautiful day. It is. It's real nice. It's <laughs> We're... we're uh, I ain't, I ain't gonna lie. I don't remember <laughs> last fall or spring, but because I feel like I don't know what happened then. I don't remember, but <laughs> but uh, I feel like this stretch of weather is kind of the nicest, consistent stretch of nice, nice weather we've had in a long time. You know what I mean? It's either yes. scorching hot, scorching cold, scorching windy, something to something. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we got the Goldilocks of weather right now. Uh, the right. just right weather right now. <laughs> Amen. So. Good deal. Well, um, Angela, uh, for I guess before we talk about the the the, uh, the graveside, you know, uh, not graveside manor, the uh, living museum event here coming up, kind of give folks a little bit of background about CAPS program and talk and just to give folks a, an understanding of what the CAPS program is all about. Uh, yes, the CAPS program has been around for about ten years, I believe, mm-hmm. um, but we're just new to being part of the Roswell Community Little Theater. And it's been wonderful. They've just accepted us in and just partnered with us. Just a good match. Yes, it's... absolutely. And so now we're their youth program. Yeah. And so that gives us a lot more resources. We're able to use the stage and just really give the kids the full theater experience. Yeah, I think um, prior to that, it was a lot of projects, like uh, like community projects and things like that. Graveside Manor, obviously. But but I could, didn't you guys do a lot of like the painting of, around town in years past and things? No, like... we weren't part of that group. Okay, I thought, I thought that was part of CAPS. We too, did back some First Friday days. stuff okay. with CAPS, and okay. um, we just were in different places for our classes and different places okay. for our shows. Gotcha. And... Okay, I was thinking that you guys did some of those projects too, but but uh, but now that you're with the theater, you kind of can full time. You know, it's a full theater program as part of all the other. You know, uh, mm-hmm. things that the kids learn and stuff is uh, other aspects of art that the kids learn. Yes, we have two semesters, so we do the fall and the spring. And okay. So they'll do a specific skill in the fall, and they'll learn something about the um, either miming or projecting their voice or different things in the theater. And then in the spring, we actually do a full play with the kids. Gotcha. So it's kind of they uh, they learn the skill sets. And then, uh, then they go and practice them uh, later on yes. and, and put them to practice and get to perform. That's great. Well, one of their putting them to practice events will be this <laughs> Saturday. Yes. Um, now, if, if folks are familiar with the Graveside Manor, that's probably one of the more uh, publicly known uh, events that the CAPS program does every year where they'll go out to, uh, to South Park Cemetery and um, do what I always call them Chautauquas. I don't know if that's quite the right term, but... But basically, the kids um, portray the roles of some of the more uh, prominent uh, people of Roswell's past mm-hmm. that that currently reside at South Park Cemetery. <laughs> and so the kids will uh, dress up as the characters and and uh, kind of in be that character. You know, like for instance, your son plays J.P. White for I think just about many of those. Yes. <laughs> and uh, so when he's there, he's not. He's not Josiah Strange no more. He's J.P. White do a bear doing his thing. You know what I mean? And that's and so the Living Museum event is going to be a little like that, a little bit more, a little bit different. But if you remember Graveside Manor, uh, the Living Museum will be very much in that same vein, uh, uh, but but with more stuff. Is that is that a pretty fair statement? Yes, yes. it stemmed right from there, but. This way, we're able to cover people that we couldn't do at Graveside Manor because sure. they're not they buried there. Yes. <laughs> I mean, you could, but it'd be weird. Yes. <laughs> and not displayed here is <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so um, now, um, so we would love to get families to come out this weekend. Yes, it's going to bring the kids, bring because there's there's going to be not only the performance side of it, but but take home projects and things like that for yes. these kids to do, and and I mean the adults can do them too, but mm-hmm. but I think they're more kid centric. <laughs> <laughs> we're yes, all, we're all a kid at heart, so exactly. So <laughs> if you're like that was easy, well it's not for you, it's for a child. <laughs> I'm glad it was not easy for you. Right, right. <laughs> but uh, but uh, come out, be a part of it. Now um, we want to get people to get advance tickets here. Um, uh, it, it, that way we can uh, make sure we plan enough time slots and everybody. You know, um, we do, we, we want to make sure you know everything's planned. It's kids too. 
you know, mm-hmm. kids kids have shorter attention spans than adults and things like that. Mm-hmm. So we want to make sure we're planned and we're not over overworking everybody or anything <laughs> like that. So uh, so uh, please pre-register for this. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's, it's it's pretty easy to do. Um, it would be the, the simplest best way to go to the RoswellTheater.com webpage yes. at this point. Um, go to and that's the Community Little Theater's website. While you're there, you can get tickets for uh, the Swearingen mm-hmm. uh, and uh, the 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 uh, Carpenters concert that's coming up here on the sixth. Uh, any of their other shows and events, there's a, a you know you can get tickets through that website. But um, look there for the uh, it's called uh, the Living Museum event. Uh, you'll click on that link and then you mm-hmm. can get tickets. Now, um, I know Angela, you're saying there's um, there might be a little bit of confusion there, so let's go ahead and kind of explain that. So uh, when when people come across and they're like saying, "Wait a minute, I this ain't right. This 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 is what's going on." <laughs> kind of explain that that process to how to get the tickets on the website there. Uh, yes, if you go to RoswellTheater.com and then click on the Living History, it'll say Living Museum. Okay, it'll be a little picture, an old picture of Graveside Manor on there, and you just click on that, and then um, it'll give you um, a little drop down menu that'll. Okay tell you all the tour times. Okay. So when you first go on, our first um, tour set is actually sold out. Okay. And so it'll say no seats, but when you click on the little arrow and drop down, it'll give you all the different tour times, okay. and you click on them, and then it'll tell so you how many seats are left. So the only one technically sold out is is the early slot, the, verse, the first slot there, the rest are good Yes, I go. think we've sold out of that in the 2 o'clock. Gotcha, so, okay. But the other but, slots but still the other, have So seats. if you see not available next to the, to keep, keep on the drop box there, there's yes. other times there, please pick the right times. If you have any questions, you can probably call either the historical society or, or, or the office there and, and someone will can navigate you through it and help you through it and get now, is it all advanced tickets? Uh, uh, no, you can walk in on the day, but okay. there's a chance we could be sold out. Okay. So, so if you want to we'll, guarantee yes. you get a time mm-hmm. and not wait around or anything like that, get your advanced tickets at roswelltheater.com at the website there. If you space out and forget it's Saturday mm-hmm. morning, you're like, Oh yeah, today <laughs> come on out we'll, we'll do you might have to wait a few minutes here and there but the, we'll I'm, do our best to get you in. <laughs> get you in and and do all that now um now that we tell them how to get in talk about some of the things they're going to see when they're there on saturday i guess so they'll have the tour where okay. they'll get to um meet the characters mm-hmm. and then they'll have all the craft booths will be in the archive building okay and in between they're going to have a few vendors so there'll be some people out there selling their their own crafts okay. and telling like the library's gonna be out there letting you know what's happening out there. Oh, cool! So other community um, nonprofits and things will be yes. out there um, talking about their events and things and, and and selling stuff and getting you involved in their activities too. Yes, so that's awesome. One of the things I think is important for um, individuals to remember is um, for our, our, these activities, our parking lot, the Historical Society mm-hmm. parking lot, will be blocked off. Okay. So if you come and it's blocked off, be advised and know we would. Um, we ask you just park across the street yeah. behind all steps. You can park north mm-hmm. of the Historical Society Archives mm-hmm. building. And we ask this of you also. You need to directly go. You'll see a tent mm-hmm. right by the flagpole. Yes. Okay. And that's where all individuals need to go first. Okay. We, we're reminding everybody. So go to the flagpole. Go to the flagpole. Okay. But don't newly, just come uh, to uh, hang out flag. and not purchase a ticket because we want this to be a safe haven event and we want to respect everybody. Yeah. So we ask you go directly to that tent to obtain your tickets and armbands okay. just so that we can keep this event. We're proud to say we want to protect everybody, keep them safe. Sure. But you and I both know we're going to have a great time no matter what. So. Absolutely. <laughs> and so uh, so basically, you get, like you said, get your tickets in advance. That way you, you save yourself uh, not having to wait or run or anything. Again, it's uh, roswelltheater.com, T-H-E-A-T-R-E, spelled like live theater. Um, go there and look for a living the Living Museum uh, link. Click on that. Uh, you'll pick your times, dates, buy tickets, all that good stuff right there through the website. And then come on out on Saturday, you know, maybe a few minutes before your scheduled time and, uh, you know, go and enjoy it. Now, um, if it, it's kind of, if you've never been into the, the JP White House before, you, this will be a first for you. <laughs> if you've never seen Graveside Manor, this is kind of going to be a first for you there too. But, um, so you, you get to... I mean, not only do you have the kids and all the cool stuff there, mm-hmm. but the property that is the historical society, that museum. Um, and like I said, the kids, uh, they're going to be in different rooms of the museum uh, doing, yes. for doing their portrayals. And so you get to kind of see the house while you're there. If you've never been to that or haven't been in a, in a while, 
come and you know while you're here you're touring the house as part of this um you're getting to 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 see these kids hard work and 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 appreciate some of that maybe even learn a thing or two that's the other thing is uh you might it's it's kind of fun to accidentally learn stuff sometimes and uh that's the great part about too and that and the kids um this is all the kids stuff like these kids are doing the research on these people and 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 putting together their 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 performance their the i mean obviously Adults are helping them, but but they're the kids are the ones kind of doing the research mm-hmm. and learning about these people, and it, it's it's an educational mm-hmm. experience. And it's not just fun and art. I mean, it is, but <laughs> but they they they're also learning about our history, learning about the people that shaped our community, and um, I think our adults could learn some of that too. So uh, learn speaking, from the kids. speaking of that, this week is National Character Counts Week. Mm-hmm. Um, Character Counts is honored and privileged to be part of this event and celebrate the legacy of Judge Jones. Mm-hmm. Let's celebrate character not only this week but every week. Absolutely. And um, that's just uh, speaking of that, Angela. Before I forget, I, mm-hmm. one thing we definitely um, anybody that knows Angela Strange knows when she does an event, it's not just an event. It's a full experience. Her family works so hard and all the details. Let's talk about the raffle because I think that's incentive to come out just for some of the raffle. Oh, (laughs) yes, it is. I mean, I think if you're thinking, oh, maybe I won't go to that. I don't have time. Well, maybe after you hear what Angela has to say, you'll rethink that. I do like winning stuff. (laughs) So back during the Depression, one of our banks failed here in Roswell. Okay. And all of the safety deposit boxes were confiscated and taken to Washington, D.C. Okay. But they weren't returned for 60 years. So the recipients of the family didn't know what was in them because they were the grandkids. And so we're playing off that, and we have some safety deposit boxes with mystery items inside, Ah, and we're raffling them off. Isn't that awesome? Oh, cool. So you can get a chance to see what's inside. and. (laughs) Could be, uh, who knows what could be in there. Mm. <laughs> could be a million dollars. Could yeah. be dust. Yeah. <laughs> we won't give you a box of dust, although that's a good idea. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah, never know. Oh, that's funny. All I think of is the Geraldo Rivera breaking into uh, Al Capone's so uh, vault there in, what was it, it, the 90s or early? When did he do that? I do you don't remember that? know. Do you remember? Do you remember? You might be no. too, too young. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, you remember that when Geraldo did I that? don't remember that. Oh, it was a <laughs> big to do. Funny. It was either 80s or 90s there. Oh, Geraldo Rivera, um, they found a, a safe for Al Capone there in Chicago. Mm. And it, in like an old office, it was like buried in a wall or something. So so <laughs> Geraldo Rivera, um, this was back when he had his television show and everything. It was, it was, it was a younger, svelter uh, Geraldo. But anyway... Um, <laughs> He made this big production, like primetime TV, we're going to crack into the Al Capone's vault and see what's inside. <laughs> and they hyped it for hours and hours, and then they spent this time cracking into this thing. And all of us are hyped. They open up, there ain't a dang thing in there. There's like, <laughs> oh, no. There's like, there's like some paperwork that's completely useless, and that was it. Oh, it was, But they had to spin it. Like, Geraldo was like, this is the find of the century. And like, uh, we just found some old papers. That's it. Prime. We just spent three hours watching a special that that's had a big... Funny. Fat goose egg at the end, so it won't be like that. It won't. No, no. If you know Angela, it will not be like that. She will not disappoint. She will not disappoint. And the hype is worth it. Yeah. So remind me about the tickets. How um how much are they? In? Yes, they're ten dollars for those tickets. Okay. And then we'll also have some other raffles um on site at the event that there'll be one dollar ticket raffles okay. of and some businesses have donated some things to us awesome. for that as well. Now uh, all the proceeds from from this event here is going to help the CAPS program uh, keep the kids and all that, and then the historical society yes. uh, will help. Uh, you know we got roofs to fix and, and mm-hmm. foundations to fix and <laughs> and uh, windows to fix and things to fix. So great. It's Side Manor is what brought the Strange family to the Historical Society. Mm-hmm. We're eternally grateful, and they are, they're stuck in our family now. <laughs> We're not letting them go anywhere. But I just want to remind the individual how hard they work and how much this program works so hard to honestly feel live by our mission statement, too. They celebrate history. They celebrate what this community is all about. So if people cannot attend this event, I want to remind individuals they can make a donation. Mm -hmm. Please remind them about that because this program works so hard and is worth it. I can't think of a better program for all of us to partner with and um, really just embrace what this community exemplifies, and that is character and celebrating history and learning. So um, 
can Angela, can they make a donation or if let's just say somebody yes. is listening and they say, oh, I can't. Saturday's I can't not available, but I, I love what they're doing. I How like could to... they make a donation, Angela? Um, I would have them um, email me okay. at caps committee chair at gmail.com. Okay. And then I'll make arrangements with them. Very good. Okay. That's perfect. And I would imagine too, if you happen to be by the historical society for anything and say, Hey, Amy, I heard the caps. I'd like to, here's a check for them. Can you make sure they get it? Amy will make sure they and get Angela, it. <laughs> and Angela, let's remind people listening, because um, Mike and I, I think, speak every time about procrastination. Yeah. And that perhaps mm-hmm. is some individual's weakness. Is it too late for people to have booths? Uh, no, it's event. not too okay. late. Um, so if you'd if like you, to p- yes. set up a booth out outside, there. Outside, and, and those will be outside in the parking lot. Yes, right. if you want to be um, acknowledged in our program, um, okay. I would say by noon on Wednesday, okay. because I have to start printing them. So you got about 24 hours to get that in if you want yes. to get in on the program. Yes. But but if it's pass out, you can still come, but you might not be in the program. Yes. So so basically you're looking for like if you're nonprofits, things like that, or if you uh, a vendor that would like to to be out there as part of this event. That's that's what you're looking for, yes. right? Very good. I, I think it's unique. We have individuals, if you don't mind me saying, from like mm-hmm. the Roswell Public Library yeah. to Main Street Roswell, but then we have somebody like Danielle Gonzalez that's yes. on our board yeah. through D- DCG Photography that does so much for the community. She's got, uh, but I'm going to tell you one thing. We can bless ourselves with some of her talents and treasures because she's amazing. <laughs> yes, she made our flyer and yeah, just she's did amazing. all sorts well, of stuff to help us. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully people bought stuff from her at the fair. She's oh, everywhere. So. Did she's you see her? her t-shirt. Did you see her booth at the she's fair? Been a, yes. She had a bunch of stuff. I was, she ha- she's everywhere. Yeah, I was, high five, Danielle. I hope you're yes. I was wearing my American <laughs> Legion hat one day out there. I was Aww. doing my because our booth was right across from oh, her that, booth. Oh, that's right. That's so, right. So I was like, oh, I can. So she had a beautiful stuff over there. You know, that's great graphic job. design. So shirts I'm really excited because yeah. they're just going to dress up our parking lot. It's going to look nice. So. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, come out Saturday, get your tickets, you know, go online, do do Angela a favor, get your tickets in advance, yes. <laughs> please go, go to roswelltheater.com, get your tickets, but if, I know, life gets busy and you life get crazy busy. and you forget, mm-hmm. um, and you wake up Saturday morning like, oh, that's today, don't hesitate, come on down, we'll mm-hmm. get, I, I'm sure they'll find you a spot, even if you got to hang out for a few minutes while they... While the thing, what well, they'll, they'll find a way to get you in there, and you can participate, and and really, it's two great organizations. The the, the I can speak for the historical side as being a board member and everything else. Um, it's a group of awesome, dedicated people that that make lemonade out of lemons every single day. Uh, and the CAPS program is the exact same thing. It's mm-hmm. it's it's it's. I know, uh, and I know the folks with the community theater. I know some of those folks as well, and mm-hmm. it's all the same, cut from the same cloth, mm-hmm. the same type of people, people that. Just roll up their sleeves and making making things happen and trying to make the best despite hurdles, despite uh, obstacles. Uh, everyone's like, no, no, we'll we'll push through. We'll find a way to come around it. And community theater does that all the time. I know the Caps mm-hmm. do it in the historical side. It's three organizations really at the end of the day that are just doing great things in the community. And and this is a one way to to really support all three kind of uh, by coming out and participating this Saturday. If they want to see a great commercial, I know if they go to the Historical Society Instagram, mm-hmm. it gives you a little bit of a taste, right? It's a oh, fun little yes. commercial. It's a fun little <laughs> a taste. Teaser. It is. You see um, some of the reenactors. Uh, uh, it, it's, it's, it's really neat. So mm-hmm. I don't want to spill all the beans, but... <laughs> But can no, we, at least some mystery. <laughs> yeah, but can we tease as maybe some of the characters that will be portrayed during this? I don't want to tell them all, but maybe one or two that we can <laughs> well, that We're definitely for? portraying Judge Jones. Yes, that one I knew about. Yes, uh, and so. our actress is uh, stretching her acting abilities because we only had two boys sign up this uh, time. So Judge so Jones some of our will be played by a female. Be, yes. So. Cool. <laughs> he well, probably would so like wonderful. that, too. I think that's awesome. Well, as long as she can get the bow tie on, right? That doesn't really matter. Right? <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> And, of course, Josiah this time is playing Elvis Fleming because ah. they, they wouldn't have him play anybody else. Ah. Today, so. That's for sure. Yeah. That is for sure. And uh, if you're like, who's Elvis Fleming? While you're there, I invite you to read some, pick up a copy yes. of one of his books oh, yeah. while you're at the historical site. I just wanted people know, to know listening in the, when they come to the archive booth, if you want to purchase some autographed books in the mm-hmm. archive building, Jolome will be signing books only from 10 to 12. Oh. So you better make he's sure book time on. It's to... only 10 to 12. Oh, he's busy, so he's going to sign books. 12.02, he wants... he's like, I ain't got time for you. <laughs> but we, and I just got a text a while ago about Elvis Fleming books and stuff, so we will have those. Good, we good, will have good, books good, 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 good. Yeah, he's, uh, um, well, uh, <laughs> as speaking for some of the historical society, he's, I'm, I'm, I'm willing to guess 
we probably wouldn't even have a historical society if Elvis Fleming wasn't around to to, to sure. do what he did for many years there. You know, most individuals all over get paid a large amount of money for what Elvis never obtained one dime for. Yeah. So to me, if that's not exemplifying what the historical society is all about. Yeah. Hey, well, we're thinking about it, though. So if people buy tickets, Angela, because again, Angela is amazing. You just get your ticket, but you don't only get a ticket. You're going to mm-hmm. get a bag, right? Yes. Oh, swag bag. See? Yeah. Yes. Of course. <laughs> and that's just know, for advanced ticket buyers, right? The well, if they bag? obtain tickets. <laughs> okay. That, oh, that's a good thing. Angela's too nice. <laughs> let's, say, let's say that, Mike. If you don't purchase your I'm ticket saying, in advance, we you get may it. not get the cool little swag bag. But people we need, might run out. People need, <laughs> you know, you never know. You people know. need carrots see? to dangle. Just saying. See? If you're like, that's well, I'll right. just do it Saturday. No, no, lazy person. <laughs> Go right now. That's right. And grab it, and then we're going to give you a swag bag but uh-huh. you come out to uh, on saturday we'll let you in and get but no swag bag for you <laughs> <laughs> or it may not have, see we may run out that's right that is right and there might are get misplaced <laughs> or something i don't know <laughs> see there might be amazing swag bags that will be all out then see you never know you never know i kid of course but but please get advanced tickets that's right that's right <laughs> and there are incentives Incentives by purchasing tickets, right? Yeah. Yes. And additional incentives if they purchase numerous raffle tickets. Oh, ah, okay. She's yes. allowing incentives. Yeah, absolutely. I love it. Yeah, you got to, <laughs> just for the curiosity factor alone, you got to get a raffle ticket, uh-huh. right? You know I mean, uh-huh. just, you know, it's, it's, <laughs> it's a game of chance, but it's you helping, helping great organizations doing it. So come on. Absolutely. And this is a unique, fun way to do it. Yes. <laughs> We'll give the teaser. How about this, Angela? (laughs) There's a very famous legacy of art, and there there will be blessings if you show up with art. Okay. Yes. And it could be a larger piece of art. We're not talking Art Sandoval, are we? (laughs) (laughs) Oh, art. Oh, Art, Mr. Dodger Man. I hope Art Sandoval is listening, Mr. Dodger Man. They got to go to OU and I did probably it. working right now. Oh, he's probably working, but he may have you on. You never know. I know how many times last week on this show I wanted to do the bad dad joke. Because in, in Artesia last weekend, they were having their annual Art in the Park event. Yes, mm. yes. And all I wanted that to Daniel do was, was beg that. Art Sandoval to go out there and just stand there and take a picture and say, Art in the Park this weekend, come on out. <laughs> That's and all I wanted to do. Oh, that is so funny. And you know where he was? His daughter was playing softball at OU. Yeah. Oh, yes, Sam. Oh, that's funny. Or, I hope you're listening. That's, I know Ralph is. I know Ralph is I listening. I just so bad wanted Art, to just take a picture of Ralph, Art standing you better tell at Art. Park. <laughs> Start the park this weekend. That's Come funny. on out. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That is funny. And we won't do the coyote joke either. Yeah. <laughs> Well, maybe we'll have we won. Mm-hmm. Art I'm at the museum kidding. this weekend. Come on out, Art. Come out hey, to the museum. Yeah, there you go. That's, that's funny. Yeah. Hey, and speaking of, your, or Mike, winners might be everywhere. Yeah. I'm just saying. <laughs> Art, hey, Mike could sh- show up over there. I, I could. The you never know. <laughs> you know, have food, we'll travel. That's right. Hey, you know. That's right. Absolutely. You never know. But, uh, folks, and uh, I know we're having fun and joking here. We, um, we would love to have you come out. It's going to be a great. This is, this is uh, you know, we talk about supporting our community and supporting our kids. This is exactly what we're talking about is events like this. Um, uh, there's a, some wonderful kids that are a part of this program, and and they're they're working hard. And I know we're, we're trying to raise money for these organizations and things, but at the end of the day, Come out and support the work and effort of these kids. That's yes. what it really matters. These For kids sure. are um, fervently excited to, to learn the history and, and, and embrace this thing. Um, support them by coming out and, and being at the part of the, their performances and things. Come out and cheer them on. Well, you know, be polite. But you know what I mean. Give them support. <laughs> Come out and cheer them on and, and just, you know, show that that you and and you know what you're going to learn something and that's the mm-hmm. thing is that mm-hmm. these kids they go and they do the research and and you're going to come out even if you know uh judge jones they're probably going to be factoids and things like i didn't know that about about him you know or whatever you know or if you knew elvis you know uh, directly you know they'd be like oh yeah i didn't know that that's we're celebrating these kids we're celebrating these people and uh we're celebrating these two organizations and so come out and be a part of this Come get your tickets. Get advance tickets. Do us a favor, and then come on out during the day. Uh, you know, around your 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 uh, appointment time there, and just come 
Come and enjoy it. Come support the other nonprofits that are going to be there because this is a community um, strengthening event. That's what this mm-hmm. really is. It's it's more about us in the community. And so if you're a, a, if you're listening and you're a nonprofit or, or want to be in a booth out here, say, hey, yeah, I'd love to tell people about my organization too while we're out there. Come, mm-hmm. come cool. do that. Come be a part of this. That way, um, the more the merrier. And just come and... Uh, Come support these kids. Come learn a little bit about our history and our our locals and our and our area. And oh, by the way, have some fun doing it. You're gonna. I know no. we're. I know history and everyone gets like history. Uh oh, that's work. That's not. No, no, no. no this no. is fun. <laughs> have fun. And guess and guess what? And I say this every time when when we talk this. What history is? History is everything. Mm-hmm. You watch Netflix. Guess what? You're way into history mm-hmm. because all those documentaries and everything. That's history. <laughs> history. You know. I mean, everything that we document is history. The, you know, what you do, what, what's going on at the schools, what's, that's all part of history. And you're, that's, that's us. It's the study of us, people. Mm-hmm. And, uh, that's, and every one of us loves people, I think. <laughs> you love yourself, at least. Well, so why not, why not learn more about us? That's right. And that's what it is. Angela, I got a question this morning, and they can, we can answer it on the air, because somebody said, I may be too busy. I don't know if I have enough time mm-hmm. to go to this event. Will you kind of tell them real quick, and I know we're probably running out of time. How much time would this take? Because that's what somebody asked. Gotcha. So the, tu- the tours are about how long, The Angela? tours are about 20, 25 minutes or so. Okay. And then depending on how long you take to do each of the crafts, if okay. you have kids with you. So you're probably looking at an hour. Okay, so maybe, maybe an hour, hour and a half great to get to more into the craft. So, mm-hmm. so it's not an all-day thing. You come and get. That way, if you got uh, if you got to head on to another event or if you're going to see, uh, mm-hmm. you know, whatever movie or got a, got a, got a, maybe Alzheimer's walks in the morning on Saturday, if you're going to do that in the morning, come and get you an afternoon time out there. So. I'm looking at Mike Winters um, with the big yellow bright neon shirt on <laughs> if people come and they're not for sure where to park or what to do look for people in neon yellow yes. shirts yes the staff so shirt. our, our, our staff yeah. shirts and the, there's will be character counts neon yellow shirts but yeah. if people are driving up thinking where do i park what do i do we'll have traffic directors and look for the people in the yellow shirt yeah. yes yeah it's it, matter of fact if you pull into the archive <laughs> parking lot directly across the street from that there mm-hmm. should be plenty of parking over there that's a pretty big lot but right. if it is full then, right. then they'll direct you around to other in, or, or north of the archive facility because yeah, exactly. quite a few people can go over there also. yeah that's a pretty big uh you know because every time we do one of our heritage dinners or one of those events uh that's right park and there's always plenty that's of room right. over there so angela mm-hmm. also before we go um she's worked so hard putting books together tell them so when people get their goodie bag oh about yes the book. they'll get a program which is basically a whole book of a full bio of each Okay. A character Isn't that you're that going to meet. Awesome. So if you miss a piece of information, you yes. kind of got it there at your fingertips. And there'll also be activities in there, some, t- some things that you can do at home. Okay. And Yeah, because ideally, this kind of, and this is how <laughs> history works. Uh, the idea is we get you a foot in the door. Like, you there find a subject, you, you find something you're into, and then it lights the fire for you to start doing your own research and things or, right. or finding yes. other Right. mediums books movies or whatever about the thing that you're into and that's that's how history works and, and i get goosebumpy thinking if kids came to the event wanted to be part of the caps program mm-hmm. then they made an appointment in the archive facility to do a bunch of research isn't mm-hmm. that what this yes. is yes absolutely and, and while i'm thinking about it so let's be clear when you purchase tickets to get a tour for mm-hmm. this event we're technically not doing museum tours yeah. somebody asked me that obviously that's not possible no. we're very intentionally mm-hmm. booking those tours but we would be honored and thrilled to book an appointment for a private tour Absolutely. of the historical museum, and that information will be in their backs. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. Um, you're you're just, getting a, a somebody thought they could do both. And well, I was like, no. Well, to be honest, I mean, we would love to, right? But if we did that, it would take away from the kids. Exactly. It yes, would. Exactly. It would. It would. Um, because our our docents have a lot of information to share That's with you as sure. they go from room mm-hmm. to room, and. Uh, between that information and then right. the CAPS, inf- that might be information overload for you. Uh, right. that, might be a lot, think so. that would be a lot to take <laughs> right. in. So we would, if you want to learn more about the house mm-hmm. itself, we'd mm-hmm. love to have you do it. Please schedule another tour with us, a private tour. Um, it's The private tours are, uh, I, I, I'm not trying to undersell things, but, but this has been the biggest blessing in disguise with COVID mm-hmm. uh, is the private tour. I mean, we've been open. People come and go as they please, and we mm-hmm. do tours and things. But, but... For people that you basically get the museum to yourself, you and your group for 
what, an hour or so, basically mm -hmm. walking through. You've got the docents who are kind of giving you your own. And then if you've got questions and things, you're not in a group that it's like, well, maybe I'll get a chance to ask my question. Maybe I won't. Mm. It's your group. You're like, what's that thing on the wall there? And they're like, well, it's, you know what I mean? You get, right. mm -hmm. it's a private personalized tour. It's like, you've got a question. You just ask the docent. They're right there next to you. And they're able to, and, and our docents are very knowledgeable about that house. Um, way more so than I am. And, I'm, not uh, for <laughs> sure, I'm not for sure individuals can get that anywhere else in that area yeah. for mm -hmm. sure. Absolutely. Maybe so, so please come back for yep. that because yep. yeah, we would love separate. to do that that's for separate. you. But on Saturday, it's not about that. That's it's about these right. kids and, and about uh, their their message that day. So, mm -hmm. so um, now granted, if you see something, you're like, oh, I wonder what that is about. Just hold on to that. We'll, we'll answer. <laughs> or maybe if you see one of our staff say, hey, what was that thing in the other room? They'll be able to tell you. <laughs> or that. we'll but, say, we'll book an appointment yeah. and find out. And we, if we don't know, we'll learn together. <laughs> and, and to be honest, all we're asking for is a donation, whether you can afford it. Is it five bucks, a hundred bucks? For the tour. For the tour, for yeah. The, at the museum. We're asking right. for a donation. That's a separate so thing. But there's, right. no, there's no, uh, you know, I mean, if you can't afford a bunch of money, right. then no problem. You got five bucks? Come <laughs> right. on in. You got a well, hundred dollars? Come on in. We're and that's why I appreciate um, the, the CAPS program and RCLT and Angela. They've really intentionally made this absolutely not at all about money. Yeah. More about the celebration of history, having some fun. And yes, absolutely. you do have to purchase a ticket, but it is so amazingly reasonable for all that they've done. High five. We're Absolutely. just honored to be a part of it. Absolutely. Yeah. We're, it, we're just here to be, have fun with them. The, the part <laughs> is to expose these children and expose mm -hmm. the community to our history and to these people and stuff. Yeah. Um, and it isn't about the money. But that being said, <laughs> they both organizations can use the money to keep these programs going, to keep what they do. And, and, and I know for the CAPS, um, mm -hmm. it starts so. So mm -hmm. it, please get your tickets Angela, if you'd like to make a donation. Angela, remind them of your email okay. again, pretty please, in case anybody has yes. questions that I probably can't answer. Yes. But amazing Angela can. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, what's the best way to get a hold of you? Uh, yes, uh, capscommittiechair okay. at gmail.com. And that's CAPS with a K. Yes. Because it's short for Kids Arts Program. Yes. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> K <-A -B> <laughs> programs. Because <laughs> CAPS sounded really funny. <laughs> Kids arts programs. <laughs> right. Can to have to have a lot of them. But but when you do send that email, don't use a C, use a K. Use a K, okay. yes. Yeah, absolutely. And we're just so thankful for the Historical Society partnering with us. They've been just wonderful. <laughs> well, I think it's a partnership that is great for both. I mean, uh, mm -hmm. you know, because I know from the Historical Society, it's great to have these. We well, you know that's our mission statement is exposing uh, everybody. And so. It's the same mission statement, really. I mean, it's just they're doing our job for it's us. It's a slightly, love it. it's of a slightly we're different platform. Have. That's about it, and, and that's not <laughs> right. even that different. So it's. And to me, I just get excited about the future. These kids someday, hopefully, will get our scholarships or be the next Elvis Fleming. Absolutely, or be the tours. That's just. Amazing. I'm pretty that's sure awesome. Josiah. I, I hate. This. I don't know what his plans are, but I got a feeling he's. That's, he might might call that home someday. He's just going to live there at the. I, know, I hope I embarrass his brother because. Because I'm going to put the challenge out there. Yeah. I'm very close to Josiah. He is part of our family. But Corbin is stepping it up. High five, Corbin. He High is. five he to is. every single kid that's part of it. But I'm going to tell you something. Corbin's stepping it up. Uh, Josiah, I think you might have some competition. He better watch out because Corbin's stepping it up. High He's five. actually acting in this. And he <laughs> first told me no. And then all of a sudden, he got the perfect part. So well, that's just when you come out. Perfect part. <laughs> I mean, I, perfect. Well, and that's just it because I've seen him perform too. I mean, uh, mm -hmm. he's. Uh, he set, belted out a song or two as mm -hmm. well. And, uh, yeah, it's kind of in the whole family there, I think. It's, uh, yeah. Every kid is amazing. Corbin and yes. Josiah I'm really excited talent. for everybody to see the amazing talent of this yeah, area. Yeah, because Corbin was one in the talent show, right? Yes, he was. Yeah, he did a great job. And he's planning he... to do it again. This time, him and his brother want to do it together. Oh, a duet. Yes. All right. Nice. Well, are they going to steal each other's thunder? How's that going to work? <laughs> I know. We'll see. We'll see if they survive the rehearsals it's beforehand. Like a, it's like going to turn to a brother fight on stage. Like, Get the <laughs> Well, if that happens, I'm going to be entertained. Either way. <laughs> Either way, right? <laughs> well, thank you. Uh, we do appreciate it. We'll see you guys uh, on Friday. Um, we're going to we're gonna remind folks. Is it Friday or Thursday? Whatever, Thursday. I'm sorry. Oh, Friday. Friday. Yeah, Friday. Whatever day we got some scheduled later <laughs> yes. this week. I just we better make then. sure. I wrote it down. I wrote it down. Well, just, uh, yes. But uh, we'll, we'll get uh, just to remind folks, and if there's any additions or changes, 
uh, between now and then we'll let folks know. But uh, oh, Lord, yep. again, go to uh, roswelltheater.com. Get your tickets right now. for uh, Look for Living Museum. You'll go there and you'll see. like There's usually like a scroll thing with the different performances. You'll see one for the Living Museum. Click on that. Boom. You'll see the Dropbox. Get your tickets. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to either Amy or Angela. Just leave a message. If you all have any questions, you can call the museum at 6228333. I will get you linked up with Angela or any way we can help. Absolutely. Well, thank you, ladies. We'll, we'll see you later thank on you, this Mike. week. Thank you, 106.5. Any-